A trio of 150 year old Civil War cannons are coming to North Charleston after being removed from a South Carolina river. Will Whitson takes a look at the CSS PD and why what archaeologists found could be bridging the gap between Civil War history and modern naval history. For the three cannons mounted on top of the CSS PD, it's been a long 150 years underwater. For the team that first found these cannons back in 1995, it seemed about as long to get them out of the water. And that's all we've talked about, dreamed about, and worried about for these last 20 years. And to actually see them come up and be put on the bank today is a feeling that's just beyond description. You can't imagine the aphora that I there is. The three massive cannons were all dropped from the CSSPD near the end of the Civil War to avoid Union capture. The ship was set afire and scuttled. Now the cannons will be cleaned up in Charleston and given new life in Florence. So where they're conserving the HL Hunley, uh, they've developed real good protocols on uh, conserving and treating cannons. But these cannons also shed some light on history, specifically these Confederate cannons. They were among the first to have modern rifling, a technique that hasn't changed much on naval guns in the past 150 years. The shells that these exhibited are and fired are very large. The largest one weighs 117 pounds and would travel five miles. And these are the very rounds that were found inside the cannons. They were removed and restored, but state archaeologists say the water took care of any danger from these rounds a long time ago. None of the things inside of them were watertight. Therefore, they were fully filled with water, and taking them out was not difficult. Will Whitson for the Raycom News Network. The cannons will be taken to a conservation center in North Charleston to be restored, the same place where crews are currently working on the Hunley.